Hey everyone, welcome to another Stonehearth Desktop Tuesday. So today I walked over to Albert's desk to talk about enemy placement and this is what I saw on his monitor. Yes, that's right, this is your very first look at Stonehearth's ranged combat. This is very much a tech demo. The archers don't have animations yet, so they're swinging their bows like tennis rackets, and we don't have arrows yet, so they're shooting logs at the goblins. What this does show though is that the basic archer AI tree is working, and line of sight targeting is working, and I look forward to sharing more about it with you when it's actually integrated somewhere in the game. Anyway, now we return to what Albert just finished up for this alpha, which is improved enemy placement. Before Alpha 15, you would notice that new citizens and enemy encounters and goblin camps sometimes showed up in weird places, like inside mines or underwater. While this is very flavorful, it was completely unintended, so Albert unified our three placement algorithms into one newer, simpler, and more powerful algorithm. To understand how enemies are placed, we must also introduce two new concepts, player territory and the convex hull. Here's how it works. When you, the player, put down a building, farm, or stockpile, the area around that object becomes part of your territory. When it's time to put down something near your camp, but not too close, like an enemy encounter, the game draws a convex polygon around the objects that comprise your territory and picks a random location on this polygon to start its search for a suitable enemy placement location. To bias us toward the wilderness and away from your town, Albert takes all of your territory objects and calculates their centroid. Then we walk away from the proposed location on the convex hull in the opposite direction from the centroid until we find a spot that is not inside your territory. Then we check if that spot is underwater or in a mine or some other unsuitable location. And if it passes all of these tests, we put the new object down there. This means that if you have two wildly disparate town areas, it may still be possible for a goblin camp to appear between them, but as long as you've staked out your territory sufficiently, it shouldn't be a problem. And that's it for this week! Alpha 15 is shaping up quite nicely. Play it on our Steam Unstable branch, and let us know how it goes for you here or on our forum at discourse.stonehearth.net. See you next week!